Hi guys, welcome to another barrel flexing video. This is part three. If you haven't seen the other two, please go back and watch them before you continue here. So, exactly the same setup as the previous two, except my clamping device couldn't quite fit on the timberline. So I had to move one of the zones back. So in this zone, we're slightly more compact. So this should give it less support at this end. But having the timber around the carbon, it improves the hoop stress on the tube. So let's see how much stiffness this has in comparison to the other two. Remember the carbon tube was around 30% better than that of the aluminium. Let's see how much better the timberline is compared to the carbon. Here we go, everything zeroed. Let's start stressing it. That's a single rubber, single 16. Let's take her right up to 100. There we are, just over 100. As you can see, way less stress. Everybody's quite impressed with how little flex that barrel has. So this is what gives the timberline much more stability and obviously the buoyancy as well as the lead balancing the whole gun. Good reason why you should be using a timberline. We're still gonna be doing the roller, that will be next week, and I'm probably gonna do a few other barrels as well. So, stand by for those. Hope you enjoyed this video.